story. My dad always taught me when there's an elephant in the room, introduce them. Uh, if you look at my CAT scans, there are approximately 10 tumors in my liver, and the doctors told me three to six months of good health left. All right, so what we're not talking about today, we're not talking about cancer, because I spent a lot of time talking about that, and I'm really not interested. If you have any herbal supplements or remedies, please stay away from me. Uh, <laughs> And we're not going to talk about things that are even more important than achieving your childhood dreams. We're not going to talk about my wife, we're not going to talk about my kids, because I'm good, but I'm not good enough to talk about that without tearing up. So we're just going to take that off the table. That's much more important. And we're not going to talk about spirituality and religion, um, although I will tell you that I have experienced a deathbed conversion. Um, I just bought a Macintosh. <laughs> Now, I knew I'd get 9% of the audience with that, but... <laughs> All right, so what is today's talk about then? It's about my childhood dreams and how I've achieved them. I've been very fortunate that way. How I believe I've been able to enable the dreams... I've been able to enable the dreams of others. And to some degree, lessons learned. I'm a professor. There should be some lessons learned. And how you can use the stuff you hear today to achieve your dreams or enable the dreams of others. And then I fit the first brick wall, because they made it very clear that under no circumstances were faculty members allowed to fly with the teams. I know, I was heartbroken, right. I was like, but I worked so hard. <laughs> and I had a coach, Jim Graham, who was six foot four. He had played linebacker at Penn State. He was just this hulk of a guy, and he was old school. Okay, I mean really old school. Like, he thought the forward pass was a trick play. <laughs> so, and he showed up for practice the first day, and you know, he's this big hulking guy. We were all scared to death of him, and he hadn't brought any footballs. How, how are we going to have practice without any footballs? And one of the other kids said, excuse me, coach, but there's no football. And Coach Graham said, right, how many men are on a football field at a time? Or is it 11 on a team? 22. And Coach Graham said, all right, and how many people are touching the football at any given time? Well, one of them. And he said, right, so we're going to work on what those other 21 guys are doing. <laughs> and that's a really good story because it's all about fundamentals. Fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. You've got to get the fundamentals down because otherwise the fancy stuff isn't going to work. 